Grandmaster Mitkov from Macedonia. Let's go and let's play some e5. He goes with knight c3, and I should be doing knight f6. Bishop c4, and I'll take on e4. Oh, do you know what's the name of this line? It's called Frankenstein Dracula. So you play knight e6, and he goes with this very boring, surprisingly like boring choice by this GM yeah I absolutely don't like this uh, uh, this line is has way more interesting name uh, and the title than it really looks it's called Frankenstein Dracula system but just like you see it's extremely boring I play this one so I can play d5 by the way practically this is the only move I gotta take the challenge if he gives up a pawn, can I go d6 first? d6, bishop, d6, rook e8, rook e8, rook e8. Let's go with d6. So, why did I do that? So I can play bishop e6 and to maintain control of the center here. Bishop f6. He takes, takes, and I take on b2 eventually. What's wrong with these guys? They all play like very boring stuff today. c2 is about to fall. This is gonna be a draw. But you know what? My bishop is a little bit better because his f2 pawn is weak. Once again, Grandmaster Mitkov, whose feet are rated Rating is around like 2550. And now I'll defend this one. And I'm gonna threaten pawn on d5. He has to play bishop g3, yeah. Now I can take on a2, then he's gonna win this pawn. So let me just play. Let me just take the pawn. I can defend material with rook a5. Let me go with that move. Play rook b5. And opt for a5 next move. So what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to somehow reposition my pieces. He wants to play g6, obviously. I'm not afraid of that. a4 looks good. And here I'll play king f8. My bishop on d4 holds just everything. I can't push a3 because of check. But then I have king d7, rook e7. I'll play some king e8 here, right? Let's see what is he going to do with his rook. He can only put it on c7. In that case, I can play a rook b6. Rook a7, and I can also push a3. I should teach this GM. Oh, Mr. GM, thank you, babe. That's the fear of the end games. Let's go. Next one.